I S U P K. To the family, brother Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family. Make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering. Some of that good information. All right. Brah. No, this brother killing it, man. Y'all get his brother a hand. Y'all get his brother a strong hand. He killing it so much, brother. I heard a faint cry. You're preaching hate. You're preaching hate. I just heard it. With the person who said that, please step up. The person who said we're preaching hate. Who out here says we're preaching hate? You tell me. Tell me. Come on, show your face. I just, I'm just going to have a conversation with you. Come on, be brave. You got a white president. <laughs> I waited eight years to say that. They always said, well, what's your problem? You got a black president. Well, what's your problem, white man? You got a white president now. Come show your face if we preach in hate. How is this hate? How is cleaning up black lives hate? How is cleaning up the black household and the black neighborhood hate? I'm going to tell you what hate is. That filthy holiday you're about to celebrate next week. That's hate. That's hate. On the heels of Donald Trump winning your election, on the heels of the, of the damn SWAT, the military, the sheriff up there in North Dakota murdering Native Indians for some goddamn pipeline. On the heels of that, you are going to sit around a table and carve a goddamn turkey for Thanksgiving. A day when your murderous, long-nosed, blue-eyed bastard foreparents murder Native Indians to give you filthy, long-nosed, devil babies this country as a kingdom. And you walk around today proud in D.C. You walk around today, you don't give a damn. You don't give a damn, you're not going to say sorry. You know why? Because you're a racist animal. You're a racist cockroach. That's who you are. And there, there ain't no getting away now. Donald Trump whooped the behind the Hillary and grabbed the and grabbed it at the same time. So what does that mean? With all this media coverage about Trump this and Trump that and Hillary leading, you white people are secret racists. Come out the damn closet. You're smiling in my face, you're going to coffee with me, but you go to the polls and you vote Trump and Pence. Have you seen Penn's face? He looked like he would just lynch you by looking at you. And you go in the polls and you vote him. And then you want to cry and pretend and cry like you voted Hillary. You white people want America back and I understand that. I understand that and I applaud you for the stance you took. I applaud you for the stance. Enough is enough. All the rap crap, too much tacos, all the Caribbean influence, you want your country back, no problem. No problem. I want you to have your country too. How about we strike a deal, white man? How about we strike a deal? I want you to have your country back. But first, white man, would one white man tell me today, what landmass on earth is your country? I want you to have your country back. I want you to make it great again. You owe me your life, devil. You owe me your life. You owe me 400 years on the plantation, Smith. Hey, Smith, can I talk to you? Can I have a conversation? A penny for your thoughts, literally. Come on, Smith. 
Come on, you, don't tell me you're scared. You got a white president. <laughs> Smith, did you vote for Trump? You look like you vote for Trump. You look like you put a pillowcase on and follow me straight home. I love the good old days. Punch him in the face. Get him out! Now, white man, since we preach and hate so much, I want you to have your country back. Make your country great again. But there's one thing, and I want one white person to answer me, please. You're walking by and looking at me going down the escalator like your looks could kill. Your looks can't kill. Your looks can't kill. Your bombs and your missiles and your rope, that could kill. White man, you want to make your country great again? Good. Show me which country is yours. Is it Alaska? Is it Australia? Is it Brazil? Huh? Is one white person willing to answer? I just wanted a simple conversation. White people, come on. I know, I know right now you all really want to talk. I'm, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take the, the, the pressure off of you. It's no longer racist. We already know you're racist. You vote Trump in. If you speak your mind, I won't call you racist. I would call you natural. Now, come on. I see a group of young, strong, Caucasian persuasion. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Will you stick around for five minutes? Who did you vote for? And don't be ashamed. Donald Trump. Trump. I applaud you. Why did you vote for Trump? Who gonna answer first? That's excellent. And he wants to... No, 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 no. no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, slow down. This ain't the Trump rally. I'm, slow down, slow down. Getting a little too close. Go start the car. Hold on. All right? So Trump is in for white interest, right? Yeah. Describe to me what is white interest. Go ahead. Economic responsibility. Go ahead. Anybody want to jump in here? Free markets. Free markets. Welfare. Unlimited, limited welfare. Okay. Property rights. Say again. Property rights. Property rights. Property rights. Damn. Okay. Stop right there. That's enough. What's the first thing you said? I'm um, law and order. So white interest is law and order. So what is black interest or Hispanic interest? Not, not law and order too. Law and order should He said in your community. <laughs> so so so. Are you saying, okay, let's let's keep going. Economic, economic, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. Economic, what you said, wealth? So, so black and Hispanic interests ain't economic wealth also? How about property what? Property rights. Property rights. Property rights. The North Dakota pipeline is on the rightful property of the native Indians. Say again. They lost. How did they lose? Oh, they got their asses. Wait, hold, hold on. Describe to me the process. How they lost? They got run the lost. fuck off. They got run the fuck off their land. They got so that's how we do things. That's your law and order. That's how we. Wait, did. wait. Is that your law and order? That's how they did it. Now these are friends. They hang out together. He said they got ran off. No, 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 time out. We oh, he, he's jumping shit. No, 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 no. no. Hey. We met tonight. We met tonight. Oh, you all met tonight? Yeah. Listen, get, give Trump a hand. You're, the spirit of Trump brought you all together. That's and that's beautiful. That's no, go ahead. It's not our place to tell you what's good for your interest. Right. You have your own but, interest. But hold on. Right. But, but 400 years ago, it was your place. It, it was your place. Hey, brother, you don't be from there. Brother, brother, don't move. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Brother, don't even worry about it. Brother, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, brother. You stay right there. Let them walk around you. Because if it was Trump standing there, they would never do that to him. You stay right there and you listen. Let everybody walk around you. You ain't got to move. Now listen, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish with you all. Give me, give me two minutes. Two minutes. I got two minutes. No, you're, you're about 60 years too late to dictate the time. <laughs> give me two minutes. So listen. So listen. White interest. 
and make a, your country great again. Right. It's all That's good. Right. Right. And, I, and I applaud you, even though I don't like your method being run off. Because if we really get to run people off, we know who would win. That's a store club. But hold on. Hold, and they didn't run anybody off. They invited the chiefs of them, those Native Indian tribes to meetings, and they did not obey the terms of the meetings and said the Native Indians were absent and, to, and took that to steal the land. That's what happened. That's the official report. Now hold on. That's fine. No problem. Now let me ask you a question. This is my last question. I appreciate white power. Not I understand power, it. Power, power. You're in power, so you can't get away from it. Where? Where? You have a white president. Where, are you asleep? <laughs> but, but where though? Where? Where is white power? Anyway, anyway, you're, you're, I appreciate white, you coming together for white interests. Do you think when Trump said, let's make this country great again, do you, do you agree with him? Yes. Okay, now this is one, I, I understand it and I applaud you. You should make your country great again. I have one question for you. Where is your country? Now, now, I, now I know Africa belongs to the Africans. They, they originate from there. Australia belongs to the Aborigines. Bring it down, brother. That's Latin for native Aborigine. Bring it down, bring it down. The Taino Indians belong in Puerto Rican islands, certain parts of, um, south, uh, of, of lower America. Central South Peru. That's right. The Aboriginal laws. Where is your country? Alright, let's go. No, you want to go. It's been it's a country now. Okay, so wait. So so hold on, hold on, hold on. Make me understand. I'm a little slow. I, I didn't go to Georgetown. I'm not saying you went to. I'm a little slow. I didn't go to college, so we can talk about it. So. <laughs> you you showed me you were slow ten minutes ago, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. So so colonization is how you get a country? So who did the Aborigines colonize for Australia? Are you, are you the only one that talks? Or do these guys talk? I'm asking you a question, Mr. Runoff Man, Mr. Random Off. They lost. He's he's the one that you have you have to watch with the liquor, right? Let me let me guess. He's the one you always say, take it easy, take it easy, Jeff, take it easy, Jeff. She said no, Jeff. But she's really feeling me. I understand. No, 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 tell me the truth. Just, just tell me where, where is your country? How? Through colonization, struggle, and what? Describe colonization. Describe it. Settlement. 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 We took it. It's You took it. You are an honest white man. I can respect you. You, I cannot. Because you're a liar. Colonization is that. We're talking. We're not going to apologize. We're not Speak plainly. Every, every you are you getting this? Yeah. You are an uh, give what's your name? You're the only person I actually care to know who you are. No problem. Name, this the white man with the beard, right. you are a perfectly honest white man, and I can respect you. Every, every I can respect you because you're honest. Go ahead. You're talking about this. Go ahead. Every nation that has ever been built by whatever color, whatever race, uh -huh. people has been planned that it was fucking taken. Well, who, well, let me ask you, who did the Aborigines take Australia from? I don't know. I wasn't around. All right. I was born in 1987. Were, were you around when your forefathers took America? No, but they took it and they but, but you know about it, though. They took it. But you know about it, though. They took it. But you know about it, right? Absolutely. Of course. So who, so who did um, the Native Indians and the Taino Indians take this land from? I don't know. They come from Siberia, so you tell me. They don't come from Siberia. They don't come from Siberia. That's another lie. That's an, go, go in the Smithsonian Museum and look up the Bat Creek Stone that was carved by Native Indians and it's proven to be ancient Hebrew. Native Indians wear their hair braids just like ancient Hebrews. They rub the shield of David just like ancient Hebrews. They wear fringes on their garments just like ancient Hebrews. The Native Indians are the ancient Hebrews. But that's not my point. My point is, you say let's make our country great again. But you do not have a country. You stole the country. How can an immigrant deport a native? Where's your green card? Where's Donald Trump's green card? Huh? White power? White power? God needs to bathe the streets of America in the blood of the white man.
That's the only justice you devils understand. You vote for Trump, you vote for Trump, I'm gonna vote for Jesus Christ. A black man that gonna cut your goddamn head off. Cause the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. You wanna come up here and talk about colonization? Colonization? White interest is law and order? Where was the law and order for sitting by in Red Plow? And the battle at Little Big Horn? And at Wounded Knee? You filthy devils! You are a race of blonde haired blue eyed cockroaches. And you belong in a cage or a grave where you can't hurt nobody. And you best believe Jesus Christ is going to bring vengeance on America. He is coming to take America like you took it from the native Indians. And he is going to bathe it with blood like you bathed the streets of America in the blood of the native Indians. That's why you white people are scared to come up here. Because you're a bunch of dummies. You're a bunch of rich, educated fools who don't understand anything about the truth. Your fathers told you lies and you believed it. So you go and prance around America. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. If I were to celebrate 9-11, you would say I was un-American. Why? Because 9-11 murdered white people. But you celebrate Thanksgiving when it murdered Native Indians. You are unhuman. You got no damn conscience, white man. And God is going to kill you for it, man. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 12. Can I get a couple scriptures, brother, please? Let me get a time check. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 12. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 12. Give me Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2 and 12, man. Grab a Bible, pull it up on your phone real quick. The white man is the goddamn devil, man. You saw it for yourself. Four college boys, good to do, going out in the night on the town. I asked him, how did they take this land? How did they get it? He said, we took it. We won. We got it. That's who's in the White House. That's him. That's who it is. You got it? Give me, come on. Go to Job 30 and 1. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. Go ahead. Woe to him. Do what? Woe to him. Anybody else here know what the word woe means? Huh? Brother, you know what the word woe means? Anybody? White people, where you at? Where you educated white people at? Where your AU graduates? Oh, so lot, so lot. AU don't got nothing but racist devils. A month, a month ago, you was throwing banana peels at black students up in American University. And as soon as Donald Trump whoop your ass and squeeze your you burn the American flag. You a bunch of racist devils. You're racist to the core. What did the Bible say? Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. Say it again. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. What did the Bible say about America? Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. America built this country on the blood of the native Indians. And God said, woe to you that build a town with blood. Destruction to America. Bombs, nuclear fire. Because you built this country on the blood of the native Indians and you will never admit it. You pass by and you perk your lips and it's like, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? I'm talking about battle at Little Big Horn. I'm talking about battle at, at Wounded Knee. I'm talking about Sitting Bull and Red Cloud and Geronimo. That's who I'm talking about. I'm talking about what's going on right now at the North Dakota Pipeline. You build a city with blood, white man! And you don't want to pay for it! That's a good question. That's a good question. Say, say your question one more time. What about what? What about, right, the Hootsie and the Tutsis in Africa. White people always like to deflect. Let me tell you something about the Hootsies and the Tutsis in Africa. There's a country called Rwanda that was colonized by Belgium and France, two white empires. And they took the two ruling tribes and made them fight each other. 
One tribe was tall and light-skinned, the other was short and dark, and they made them fight. And the short, dark ones would say, we're going to chop them down to size. And that's the Rwanda genocide. You ask me about what about the genocide in Africa? You are responsible for it. You ask me about the genocide of the Aborigines in Australia? You are responsible for it. You ask me about the genocide of the Native Indians? White man, you are responsible for every destructive act on the earth. That's right. Every single one. You are the weapon of mass destruction. Not an atomic bomb. Everywhere you go is mass destruction. That's why God said what? Woe unto him that buildeth a town with blood and establisheth a city with iniquity. S say it again. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. You established this city with iniquity, white man. You stole it, you murdered Native Indians, and you raped them and took their land from them and put them on reservations and then told them they couldn't come off the reservations. And when you got big enough, you went on the reservations and you killed them to steal their land again. You establish a city with iniquity. You know why? Because you're a... Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship. Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword